This is an overview of the new theme for Moodle called Fortson. Fortson is based is a child theme of the Boost theme, and therefore when Boost is updated, theoretically all of those enhancements should trickle down to the Fortson theme here. Now what we've done is we've taken the default Boost theme and we've provided some visual as well as functionality enhancements that we think are critical to um, especially K-12 education, but across the board could be utilized by a lot of people. The first thing you'll notice is this beautiful header image across the top that is customizable. And not only is it customized on the site level, each individual course can have their own image that the teacher can upload and therefore customize their individual courses. This provides a visual cue for the learner that they are in a different course as well as uh, gives the teacher some ownership and uh, the ability to customize the course. This is the homepage when you're logged out and you can see there's a handy course search box, a um, custom text box that is displayed when they're logged out. There's also one when you logged in so you can have two different messages to target uh, users that are logged in or logged out. Below this is the default Moodle um, elements that they provide for the front page. So you can see site news, available courses, you can do the combo list. Um, the Moodle site admin is familiar with these types of settings. And below that we have the marketing tiles. Uh, these tiles are designed to be uh, very versatile um, so that you can um, use text, images, uh, lists, those kinds of things. Um, as you can see right here, we have staff training with, you can link to individual courses for your users. Um, and uh, so we designed these marketing tiles to uh, really try to accommodate any type of scenario that you would, you would want. And uh, the beauty of these is that they can be positioned at the bottom or the top of the page. The, it's all configurable from the theme uh, admin settings. In the footer down here, you'll notice that we have um, a footnote, which uh, is a, another additional custom text box that you can use to populate some uh, information at the bottom of the page, as well as your social networking uh, links and icons. Um, and these are all configurable from the back end. Now, once you go to actually log into Moodle, we have the beautiful um, custom login uh, page here, and you can control what image appears. So um, from the theme settings, you can upload your own image and that will be displayed here when the user tries to log in. Let's go in and see here is the logged in homepage. You can see that the text box has changed. It now displays text for users that are logged in. And we have the icon navigation bar right here. This is great for especially younger people, um, younger students that might be in a K-12 environment where a visual cue for them to navigate the site is needed. Um, so for instance, the defaults are dashboard, calendar, badges, and um, um, uh, displaying all of the courses on your site. You can customize this so that it goes to anywhere, including external links. So you can pick an icon, you can fill out the text and provide a link, and it will be displayed here. Up to eight individual different icons, as well as a new feature is this create a course button. So. If the user logs in and they have the capability to create a course on your site, this button appears. Watch what happens when I switch my role to a student. So I'm going to switch my role to a student and that button is gone because students cannot create courses. And we'll just return back here to my normal role and the button is right back there. Now, I mentioned that um, this header image across the top is customizable uh, by the teacher. 
Let's take a look at this English course here. When I click on it, the image changes. How did we do that? Well, in the course settings, you have course summary files. If the teacher uploads the image right here, it is displayed and utilized throughout the course. The great thing about this is, right now you can really see the image kind of, but when the student comes in and they actually go into an assignment or a forum, watch what happens to the size of that image. It immediately shrinks down to the initial um, height, uh, which is a minimum of what is needed to display the information of the breadcrumbs in the title. So um, that's a, 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 a great feature. Um, the course homepage can have a nice image to kind of personalize it. And once you get into the course and actually start to do some work, you don't have to keep scrolling past that large image. So um, let's hop back in here. One other additional item that we did was um, we turned, uh, we added the editing button back into the top header area here. So the teacher can very easily and visually see the editing button. They don't have to go in here and turn editing on. It's right here, right on the, their homepage. They can dive in and start adding content to their course. So let's dive into the site admin and take a look at the back end. We go to Appearance and Fortson. Now, initially, it's coming with one default preset. We will be adding a few more in, in uh, later revisions. The color pickers. If you're not happy with the look of this site, we provide a variety of ways for you to customize the experience for your users. So we have some of the default bootstrap um, elements here primary, success, warning, danger, but we've also targeted some specific elements of the pages, such as the body background, the breadcrumbs, uh, the navigation bar at the top, the navigation bar link colors, so you can change the color of the text at the top, um, as well as some elements just for the Fortson theme, such as the uh, front page icon navigation background. Uh, the front page icon link colors. These are all customizable from the back end. We mentioned the custom header images. Here's where you can upload it, right here in heading and course image settings. You can also add a default page background. So if you didn't want it to be a solid color, you can upload an image as well as set um, the default login image um, on the login page that we saw. Here are the content areas. Here's your front page text box for logged in users. Here's the front page text box when logged out. There is a front page alert where you can provide uh, system maintenance notices, things of that nature to your students. It appears right below the front page navigation icon box. And here is the footnote that appears at the bottom of the pages. The next tab over is social networking. Upload and add all your favorite social media networking uh, links right here and they appear at the bottom of every page. And here is where you get to customize those front page navigation icons. The very first one is the course creator button. And this will only appear if the user can create a course, followed by the rest of your icons. So here is the default homepage, calendar, badges, and finally, all courses. We've provided an additional four items here for a total of eight icons that you can add into that menu and you can link to anywhere as well as provide any of the uh, font awesome icons. And last but not least, the marketing tiles 
Here is the toggle to display at the top of the page or the bottom of the page. And then you can go through and fill out up to six different marketing tiles, as you see here. This has been a very quick overview of the new Fortson theme for Moodle 3.2, and we hope you enjoy it as much as we did creating it.